Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Thai restaurants are really good. I haven't, I didn't go to Thai. I went to like Islam food, mm. and it was like the pan um, fried beef bun. And when I ate it, it like squirted, oh, and yeah. like I've never made a girl squirt like that ever. Like, <laughs> ever. Well, just, just bring like, her to Islam Town, and maybe it'll happen. Well, that you still young, man. You never know. Hey guys, so we just landed in Hong Kong and for me, the series is just about to fucking begin because I've been to Japan, I've been to Seoul many times, Hong Kong I've never been before and this place is fucking dope. Um, we're going to explore breakfast and I'm not sure if you guys have realised but breakfast is not really a thing in Seoul and Tokyo but over here it's fucking rampant. I'm seeing so many bakeries. I'm seeing so many places with like macaroni noodles and stuff. So this guy Simon, who's like fucking famous, and I love famous people because they make me look famous, is gonna meet up with me and take me to his favorite breakfast spot. So let's go. So I'm really irrelevant in Hong Kong, so I decided to meet up with someone popular because I'm a social ladder climber. This is Simon Yin. Hey, what's up guys? Simon Yin, um, Hong Kong, but come from America. And uh, I do a little show on, on History Asia called Hidden Cities Extreme, uh, which we get to go and hang out with wild and magnificent beasts like this guy and eat amazing food. So we're gonna party really hard this morning, yeah. even though you guys just got in. Yeah. I mean, if that wasn't enough for you guys, he just has a blue tick on Instagram. I'm sure that's enough to show how famous he is. 1,600 subscribers. Y'all watch out. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck me. But he has a blue tick. He has a blue, <laughs> tick. blue tick. Simon's invited out to us to his um, best breakfast spot. It's one of your favorites, right? Right. Um, what's this place called? Well, Lan Fang Yuan. And, and the, the, the thing about this place is uh, outside it, it's a Dai Pai Dong, which was like back in the day they had these stalls that would just line the streets oh. of all these different food stalls. And unfortunately, Hong Kong's really cracking down on them. Oh, really? So like there's only like a handful of these left, right? So these guys are the OG. They're the survivors. They're like, we're not going down with the fight without a fight. So that's why this is an amazing... And you'll, you'll notice not a lot of white people here. At all, at all, at all. That's when you know it's legit. I'm sure anywhere in Asia, especially when you go and you see like all the locals are eating here, and then you know like, oh, this is something special. So that's why we're here. So it's like a breakfast spot, and I'm not sure if you know about breakfast while we were in um, Seoul and Tokyo, it's like, it's not there at all. At all. Yeah. Like, okay. it's like convenience stores. It's like a fast thing to do. Like, um, I think they have like the idea that breakfast is a privilege. Right. Yeah. So it's like you have the time to actually wake up in the morning and sit down and like eat breakfast. That's yeah. kind of like a privilege. Most people are just like they're on yeah. their way to work. But um, in Auckland, breakfast is like the most important meal of the day. Of the day just like, like America, man. man. Yeah. That's right. It might be food marketing, but who cares? <laughs> like, it means another meal, so we all fucking want it. Right, yeah. exactly. So is it, it's kind of similar in Hong Kong. Is it like a real important yeah, it's thing? it's cool. Like you can see around like old, like friends are getting together, families are yeah. getting together. It's just kind of a nice way to start the day. Because Hong Kong, trust can get hectic. Fill your heart and, and arteries with oil and, and, and fats and... Yeah just to really get you started. And like, if you are not eating carbs or if you're vegan or if you're- um, Get fucked. Yeah, get, yeah, get fucked and yeah. then yeah. go have a salad in the, in the morning. But yeah. this is real Hong Kong breakfast. Good. Let's go. Right here is a pork chop bun. It's just really simple, some mayonnaise and butter, amazing pork chop, sesame seed bun, mayonnaise. I love sesame seed bun. Go. It's an underrated Action. one. Oh, and just so you know, I'm vegan and I'm, I am i don't eat carbs, so <laughs> enjoy. That pork is as soft as the bun. I know. You can't tell where the, where the bun starts yeah. and the pork starts. Essentially, just like a burger. Yeah. If there's no cheese in the burger, I'm going to go get fucked. But right. this one doesn't need it. Like, it doesn't need it because it's uh, all so that moist. All and butter. As well. and the, exactly. It's seeping into it. Yeah. Holy shit. Get a shot of that close up on it. Like, look, look at that right there. Simon knows. I know what, I know what boys like. <laughs> And this place actually started off as a uh, milk tea place. Oh, really? Have you had milk tea yet? Yeah, not in Hong Kong, but like, um, what is Hong Kong milk tea like? Uh, well, milk tea was interesting because they, uh, Hong Kong is a British colony, right? 
Yeah. yeah. So they they infuse. That's where the kind of milk and the tea comes from. Because traditionally Ch Chinese culture, uh, the tea is the you don't put milk in tea. Yeah. Right. Even in America, like yeah. milk and tea. What? That's a British thing. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So then, of, call, of course, Hong Kong was bringing it to the next level, and they they aerate it by pouring it through stockings. And back in the day, it, it used to be like pantyhose that they used to pour the milk through so it would aerate really, really okay. like oxygenated in yeah. there. And then it just becomes really smooth, really creamy. Um, I'm sure they put evaporated milk in there. So it's like uh -huh. really just kind of sweet and delicious. And so it's creamy. not that herbal tea that everyone No, 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 no it's not no, like no. a chai latte yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, hey, it's, yeah. it's legit. Let's move on to um, the uh, monstrosity oh, that oh. is the, uh, in essence, a deep fried uh, bread with, with um, a pile of butter. butter on top, and then that's on up. Piste resistance. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. There you go. Get it. Get oh it. <laughs> Get it. God. Yes. You know, every time I go to a restaurant with Tim because he doesn't look fully Asian, they're always like, "Does he need a? Does he need a fork?" I'm always like, and he's like, "Yeah, I do actually." <laughs> <laughs> So this is like essentially their, it's like a French toast. It's like a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a Cantonese toast. Cantonese toast. So what do we have? Are the layers like? It's, <gasps> it's butter, what? condensed milk. Uh. Oh, I knew it was butter, but bro, I did not know it was that much. Look at all that. Let me, let me help you get down with that, bro. Like Hong Kong is also a very romantic city. So you have to do this whole, like, let me feed you. Oh, let me feed you. Is that just butter underneath? That's, no. that's way more. It's condensed milk. It might be like a kaya. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, it's like a coconut. -y. Coconut. -y. Do you feel your heart melting right now? Holy fuck. Because in Auckland, they think they're so fucking special when they put like, they do French toast like. Oh yeah. Kind of like this, they're kind of like deep fried and they think it's like a revolution. Right. I'm like, you have not tried. This is ice milk tea. And this is what I, talk, I was talking to you about how they would go and. Yeah, the, the pantyhose, right? Yeah, the pantyhose. Aerator. And I love the actual, um, the plates and the cups. Yeah, I, when, I, when this styrofoam came out, I was like, oh, bitch. Like, <laughs> right. Whoa. They don't fuck around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. They also got you a hot one. You know, I boba, like bubble tea. Yeah, of course. I like the tea, but then I like the texture of the pearls, but sometimes I think the pearls make it so fucking sweet. Yeah, yeah. This is like the perfect level. This is level. like the way it's probably always meant to be, but you just didn't really know about it until you yeah. had it. Yeah. Are you a coffee drinker? Yes. yes. We also have a thing here, I'll see if they have it. It's called a, a, a yin yang, a half milk tea and half coffee. Mm. I think Hong Kong is really, since we are a fusion, city from the British colonial rule and then China. Ball, right? yeah. We love smashing stuff together and just creating deliciousness. Cause like even your breakfast, I see like people eating like macaroni with spam yeah, and then like yeah, broth yeah, and yeah. stuff. I was like, is that white people food or is that like Hong Kong food or is that, no, it's, that's Hong Kong It's Hong Kong food, right? macaroni with a little bit of spam and a soup. That's also very, very Hong Kong. That's just like different cultures all in the bowl. That's yeah. what it is. I don't know how you're gonna finish all this, but Good luck, bro. Because everyone's so fucking skinny here. I was like, there's no fucking way they're eating fried bread every morning. Well, it's because we walk a lot. Oh, and yeah, it's really no. hot and humid, so it's like you're it's just kind of melting. I, I'm, a, I'm a walker as well in Auckland. Okay. I love going for walks, but like, um, people in Auckland, they don't walk, eh? Hey. No. Like, there are people in like my office that like, maybe like the cafe we go to is like 200 meters away. They drive. No, we yeah. haven't tried this one. So this is, it's so simple, right? It's it, just like, a bun with butter and condensed milk, but a crispy bun. It's so simple, and then if you open it up in the middle, you just kind of see it's there's not a lot there, right? Yeah. There's not a lot there, but it's a very friendly um, amount. Mmm, just simple. Usually, I would think something like that's dry, but it's just toasted, so simple. it's like crispy. I think growing up, if you were living like living in Hong Kong as a yeah. kid, you'd just be like eating. The, this would be your favorite, I think. I'm surprised that that kid obesity actually it isn't a thing here, but ironically, it only got worse when McDonald's came. And I guess I'll never get McDonald's as a sponsor ever again. But it's it's interesting that like you don't want Mac as a I know exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, fuck off. And I can't really justify this, but I, there is a correlation between when McDonald's came to Asia and when kids started getting fat. So you you guys. You made the connection. No, because oh, I was a fat kid. Oh, damn, Rock. What up, dog? 
How you, cool, bro? How you doing? How you doing? The one, the only rock is in the house. Uh, hey, good I morning, know, Zosan, Zosan. Uh, Cinemax, I saw oh. you on TV. <laughs> on Cinemax? Yeah, that OM movie. Oh, uh, Iron Fist. Yeah, Iron with, Fist. With Rizza? With Rizza? Oh. <laughs> that was on Cinemax? Yeah. You remember the movie with Rizza? Yeah. What? Yes. Yeah, I was like, yo, I see him up on the river. I know the guy. Like, so like, Who are you? <laughs> You, I'm like a little. I'm, I'm, no a, salmon, yeah. I'm a fortune cookie. You pop me open, you just never know what you're gonna get. You know what I mean? Why do you like this place so much? I don't know. I mean, I came here since I was a like teenager. Teenager. How old are you now? I'm 43. Oh fuck! Right? Yeah. Third, third. This joy is like over 50 years. This is the OG place, yeah. right? Yeah, this is the OG place. So. Real old school Hong Kong. Like a multi. They, see? they create this shit. Okay. We came to the right place. Right? Yeah, so I see I bullshit, not for yeah, real, right? Good, good, good. Test, no, test, no, testimonial. No. So this, Fuck. How this, did you get? This is my ultimate favorite. Like, I am not even oh, going okay. to lie. Yeah, like, you okay. have to get this. And I don't know what it is in, like, in, in, in Auckland or whatever, but it's the, um, the magic here is the, the spam. Yeah. Spam is peasant food in Auckland. Right? I, I love and, it. In America, too. Like, yeah, you would never yeah. open up a spam yeah, can at all. But yeah. here, the spam, the egg, and the bread, for whatever reason, is it's magical. This is my absolute. When I first came to Hong Kong and had that, I'm like, what the fuck is spam? And then now I love spam. Oh, we're not that much of a spam guy. In the West, we don't eat spam. Is like, oh, you don't eat spam. You broke, you eat spam. Yeah, you, if you broke, exactly. But if I like, if I got a job, I eat spam, right? When I was a kid, I'm not, I, I was kind of a wealthy kid though, and I fucking ate spam. <laughs> yeah, you look like a wealthy kid. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty boy looking with the ring on, on the ear. With, with the diamond. Yeah, hey. with the ring on the ear, and I saw you. I was, no, I was a wealthy kid, but like my mum always made spam as like a side dish, and we had it with kimchi and rice. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's very popular. Are you the yeah, I'm great. Yeah. This is the great thing about Hong Kong. Not only, not only is the the food fusion and and and, and friendly and, and and easygoing, but you can, you run into friends all the time, no matter where you go, which is the best. <laughs> this place is so is so um, kind of um, epic that. People come in here all the time just to, to get this food. And Dude, this is epic, right? This is just feel-good food, right? Okay. You got your macaroni, you got your fried egg, and then you got your spam. And they, they put in some peas and they put in some carrot. Cream yeah, of chicken. Yeah, cream of chicken. Cream of chicken, too. Now we're making a food show. Yeah. Now we're making a food show. I thought it was a food show. We don't know what it is yet. We're just friends having breakfast. That's it. Holy fuck. How is it? It was good, huh? Yeah. Very oh simple ingredients. Yeah. Uh, I find that's a recurring yeah. thing here. It's all really simple. fucking simple, but done really well. That's it. White people need to learn because like our cafe culture, it's like smears on smear on the fucking plate and then they add like a whole panna cotta on top of French oh, right, toast right, right. and then edible flowers. Not necessary. Then, yeah. Not necessary. At all. Cocaine is edible, but I don't want that with my breakfast. Well, it would be a great if I did. But, exactly. like, you know I mean? but, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love it, but like... Get down with this milk tea, man. This is like... So this is a hot one? This is a hot milk tea. This one is... Yeah. And this one is the uh, yin yang, which is the half milk tea, half coffee. Oh. So the half milk tea, half coffee. Mmm. Well, so it has that bitterness, mm -hmm. but still has that tea herbal right. aroma. Well, then try that tea and then see which one you prefer. But the yin yang is quite popular and like mm. a, a Hong Kong invention. That's no tea, right? No. Also, that's the fucking. That that's way more coffee. Really? Yeah. Let me taste this. <laughs> <laughs> that's way more coffee. Try that. I think that's the milk tea. I don't know these days, man. It's like it's the, it's early. Come on. I mean, come on. We're watching the NBA finals right here. See, this is how this is how Hong Kong gets down. You're having some food. You're seeing some friends. My boy's watching the NBA finals right here on his. Oh, Flo Rider is performing. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Flo Rider over half time. In essence, yeah. what what you are experiencing yeah, is amazing. Hong Kong in a nutshell. You got fried French toast. Macaroni, yin yang, half coffee, half tea. You got my boy rocking his beautiful wife, eating tomato soup, watching Flo Rider on the iPhone, and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. A lot goes on. No, but it reminds me of Auckland, because at like Auckland, you sit at a cafe, you always bump into someone right, right. all the time, whether you fucking like them or not. I'm just, 
Uh, I'm guessing you genuinely like. Uh, him Rock's okay. He's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, this guy don't fuck with me because I mean, like, he's too famous. <laughs> no, because he's too big. Look at him, man. Like, yeah, you're six foot seven. And I'm gonna motorboat you with my with my sandwich. This motorboat. <laughs> this what is this channel? <laughs> There's like no boundaries, bro. What are we talking about right now? Thank you, Simon. You're oh, welcome, man. Carbo loading me this morning. Yes. We fucking need it. You're ready to run a marathon now. Oh yeah. Four. Yeah. Four marathons. Yeah. Oh shit, what's that? Oh uh, wait, no. It's it. yeah. no, 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 no. Okay. No, I think we already got it though. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Everyone, he says he needs some help on Instagram, so just help him out. Can you just follow him? Yintertainment. Y I N Tertainment. Uh, the one with the blue tick. Yeah. <laughs> He's approved. He's approved. Thank you for breakfast. Bro, my pleasure, man. And I actually hope I want to hang out with you again before I leave. Anytime, man. And you're not too busy for me. Dude, if I can get like five Instagram followers yeah, like yeah, every, oh, a, yeah. a day, every day that I hang out with yeah. you, that's like 20 uh, Instagram mean, followers. Mean. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? We're using each other. We're using each other. But I need some validation. Let's let's tease the next episode because after this, I'm gonna get you some amazing egg tarts. I fuck with egg tarts so yeah. hard. When back when my sister and I used to do yum cha with our family, we would get egg tarts to start and then in the middle. <laughs> And at the end, yeah. and then take away again at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Egg tart's so good, it'll make you squirt. Yeah. <laughs> like those I beef do. buns. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yes, yes, I'm famous. I'm famous. I'm famous. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, That was not stage. Like that was like, I fucking love Hong Kong. Oh my god, they love me. Holy shit. I'm handsome, guys. Hey guys. So now we're, I need to stop saying hey guys. So we're now at Queen Street Food. Queen, was it Queen Street Food Market? Um, not Queen Street, Auckland, Queen Street in Hong Kong, and it's epic. Different types of cultures like Thai, Vietnam cuisine, um, Indian, Nepalese cuisine, and I went for Italian, but it's not the Italian that we all know and love, guys. This is pigeon. And Josh Emmett recommended that I get pigeon, so I'm a fucking eat pigeon if I find it. When I see a pigeon fly in the sky, I think they are fucking rats, and like the rats of the sky, I fucking hate them. And my ex-girlfriend actually hated pigeons as well. And it just makes this like seem so much more delicious. Oh my God. It's like, it's a tough bird, mate. It's a tough birdie. And I love how it's like, it has the most normal condiments as well. Like parsnip puree and like honey glazed carrots on the side. <laughs> but, then, but then it's a fucking pigeon. First bite. Oh. Pigeons are an asset to this world. I should think the fucking disgusting flying around. There's a reason they're fearless. They're fucking delicious. Holy shit. Pigeons aren't cocky. They have a right to be that fucking stubborn when they go near your food. The reason they go near your food so much is because they're like, bitch, I'm tastier than this. And I need to fucking be discovered. They're so good. It's like a cross between roast duck and, and all <laughs> A roast duck and almost roast pork. It's real fatty. But yeah, it's, it's insane. All the natural oils come through through it as well. And like, but this was a fat bird. Like this is one of those greedy bitches that fought off other pigeons. So this, apparently this is a fancy version of pigeon. I never knew there was a fancy and non-fancy version of pigeon, to be honest. But the level of fattiness that a pigeon has is mind boggling. You know what it just tastes like? So you know how there's like Peking duck in Korea? They like to roast duck, like on a Korean barbecue charcoal right, grill. Right. It tastes like that. I wonder what the nutritional like benefits are of uh, pigeon. Really fatty, it's really oily. Maybe because it's Italian, and it's like the Italian. This is Italian cuisine. Oh my god, yum! It's kind of like awful as well. Highly recommend. Thanks, Josh Emmett. <laughs>